Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Morfrey. In today's video, I want to show you something that many people miss when they are analyzing. I want to keep it very simple and I want to use different time frames because if you only depend on one time frame, that's why maybe you're missing it in this market. So this is GBP NSD and this is our four hour time frame. So we would um go through on this time frame and then try to see what people miss once they stick on one time frame because different time frames will always tell you different story so we can see very well that the market was in a consolidation for a very long time you can see we had a consolidation there i can put that box that's what we have and we can see the break of structure you can see the market finally broke this channel so we have break of structure and for us we thought this might be a retracement so that the move can continue to go down but if you only look on four hour you'll be waiting on sell uh, opportunity to sell this market and maybe you're thinking the market will still uh, go down and become a downtrend but this is it guys you need to understand that every chart you open let your story note uh, end with one time frame. Why? Because the minute you end your story with one time frame, you just have one side of the story. So you need multiple time frames and you need all the higher time frame to support your four-hour. So notice the, the market is in this channel and this is four-hour and already we have BOS. We have break of structure. So I will write here BOS. So BOS, guys, means break of structure. So you need to understand that for me, that's what I can see. So if I don't move to another time frame, I will stick to my GBP NSD has broken structure and I'm waiting for the retracement to end and continue to sell. And those people who use my three entry signal, all they will be using, they'll be waiting for red candle and they'll be having something like that. They'll be having a, a box like that, waiting for that market to break so that they can continue selling. So the problem is, once we go to, to, to daily, we might see so many things apart from just a channel. So on 4-hour, there's no pattern. There's nothing except from a channel that has been broken. So let's go to daily time frame and see what we have. On daily time frame, see, the same box that we are seeing, you can see, this is the same box, the same channel that we are seeing a break of structure. And this is what makes the difference. You see this week, this is the same week you're seeing the market breaking on 4-hour. So on 4-hour, there is break of structure. But on daily, there is nothing. On daily, we have a channel that has not broken structure. So you might wonder... This market might be getting rejected and finally they will come and do what? They will break the box. So anyone who is analyzing their charts from daily perspective, that's what they want. They want this market because it has been rejected. They want this market to break finally on the above side, the resistance, and it continue to buy. So remember, the one on four hour, they are convinced the market is on a downtrend. It is retracing. When you come to daily, the person looking GBP and SD on daily, they are sure that there is no break of structure. The market is on a channel. They are waiting for this market to break either way. And they can even have something like this. They may have measured this and they know once the market is breaking, it is coming to that zone. So anyone on, on daily, that's what they have. Anyone on daily, that's what they have. So unless the market come down and try to break the support, for them, they are waiting the market to break on the resistance. Now, let's scale down because here we cannot say we have a double bottom because we have so much. There's so much going on. If we try to look for a pattern, we don't even know where to begin. But can we continue going to higher time frame? So person C calls to weekly time frame mm -hmm. now let's see what we have a uh, weekly time frame it is evident that we might have something that 
we can see all of us. So this box is what everyone is seeing on the four-hour that has been broken. On daily, there's the rejection. Let me remove it and now we see on weekly what is happening. For me, if I come to weekly, I am seeing a double bottom or a triple. Um, I cannot say a triple bottom because remember, if I put this line here on the first bottom, this as this that attempt it has broken. So if I just concentrate on this leg, this side, let me let me draw it for you. If I concentrate with that that side and I concentrate with this, what do I have, guys? I have a double bottom. So on weekly time frame, now everything is more clear. I have double bottom. So on four hour, we have a break of structure that support sell on daily we have nothing we have the market on a channel but on weekly now everything is clear i have a double bottom guys if you have been listening on my double bottoms video double tops the first thing that you need to identify is of course the double bottom and you can see how much rejection if this candle on weekly closes with that very long week closes like that that's a very good rejection on the on the sellers the sellers have been rejected so what i do i'll come here and this is a possible double bottom why i'll tell you in a few so i'll come here and write possible double bottom so i have a possible double bottom like that let me go to daily and make it visible so let me make it visible on weekly so we have that um double bottom on weekly so this double bottom on weekly this is what we have now a double but a possible one a possible double bottom the only thing that now we need to know is where is our neckline if this is a possible double bottom we can see very huge rejection this week and let me give you even uh the measurements of the pips this candle is how many pips rejections of 994 pips so the market has been rejected way way deep like the sellers have been rejected so if this candle closes like that it's one way to tell us that this market might buy long term so let's first identify our neckline our neckline guy is this position so i'll just uh, write there our neckline let me just write for you the neckline so we have our neckline there. The next thing that you need guys to know is our half. Every time I tell you to trade double tops, double bottoms, you need your half guys. There is a half. Uh, you need to work with that half. If you work with the neckline, you are lost. But if you work with the half, you can see for so long the market has not been breaking half. You can see it is evident like the market has been trying to break that line or that zone. It has not. For how many weeks? Let's count. So this is our half, guys. That's our half. So the first one week, the market tried to break. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven weeks. This is almost two months. The market is not able to break our half. So what happens if this week the market can only break that half? If you find that the market is breaking that, the candle closes like that, GBP NSD will officially buy to the neckline. So the market will come here to the neckline. So this is a free trade, guys. All you need to come and check is if, and that's 403 pips. I'm telling you, if the market, if this candle continue to go up and closes above this green line, how many pips to the line? Let's count. How many pips? 126 and today is on a Wednesday. So if the market closes above that green line and the green line is our half, don't forget we have measured our half. If the candle closes our half, this is a long-term buy. Just place your buy and your take profit is to the neckline. Now, if the market breaks the neckline, by weekly candle, not daily, not 
for our not any other time frame by weekly candle our next target will be this zone so what i'm trying to teach you guys is that don't trust one time frame don't trust one time frame why because the minute you're on four hour your mind is thinking to sell you go to daily your mind is confused but once you come to weekly you have a clear the way you have a clear thought on what is happening so let me tell you one thing is that you need to keep flipping your time frame you don't rely on one time frame you keep going to different time frames and this is the easiest way to analyze your chart thank you so much and i love you bye bye